there, my little materialistic gremlins. My name is Bo Chevisu. I'm this guy right here. Let's put the mouse pointer over my little pretty face. Today, I am going to show you how pipe drive works. First of all, we do use pipe drive for our nonprofit charity studio, Knox Studio. So we don't necessarily use this for sales. We really use this for project management. And the people over at pipe drive are so incredibly generous they've actually been helping our charity organization which is knox studio and uh they've just been incredible people so i kind of wanted to do a just just a, a brief little tutorial and give you a few thoughts and things as to why i like pipe drive over other forms of managing project flow uh, now we do use Basecamp to manage the individual projects themselves uh, let's say we're designing a, a video for World Vision, we would open up uh, Basecamp and actually put that project in Basecamp and have everybody collaborate in there. However, in PipeDrive, we use this to actually manage the clients themselves. And so this is just an example. Uh, we don't really do wedding videography. That's a very, that's a very corporate type you know, project. Um, so I just kind of set up a sample pipeline right here. And I'm just going to walk you through a few of the features, what I really like about pipe drive. First of all, it's an excellent bang for your buck. It's very uh, pleasing to the eyes. You can drag and drop things around. Uh, unlike Salesforce, which I've tried Salesforce, and I know it's the industry standard, but it is just so old fashioned in so many different ways. Uh, if, if you have Salesforce, more power to you. They even give a nonprofit discount, which they never followed through with that promise. I asked them and they said, sure, and they never did. But anyway, enough about uh, hammering on other people. Again, these are just sample projects, okay? I just made these just for giggles so you can see. So if we were to click on, let's say, uh, so by the way, from left to right, you read it like a book. And uh, this is how I manage projects, or you can manage clients this way too. And so let's say that you have an idea, you see on the far left, an idea for a project. And then let's say that this idea is, is accepted by someone. And uh, let's say, hey, wedding videography, this is in, I'm in the process of doing this. Uh, and you can put the amount right there so that it, it adds up how much. And at any point you can move these from left to right and as they progress through your pipeline. And finally, at the very end, you have invoice, just to remind me to send an invoice. And you can add however many columns you'd like. You can add like seven or eight columns and say, idea to uh, conceptual, to rough draft, to shooting, and you can get very granular. But right now, just for giggles, I just want to show you one, two, three, a basic, basic process. So let's go ahead and drill down into wedding videography uh, that we'll be providing for Sarah. And as you can see right here, uh, I had to, a to-do list to keep me on task because I'm a very eccentric kind of fellow and I need this to keep me on task. So, okay, great. I emailed the agreement, the check mark yes right there. I, I called her and I touched base about the wedding and I got phone numbers. Oh, look at this right here. This to-do is due today. Uh, wow. Okay, so uh, let's say I just called her. So I just called her and I discussed draft. We are gonna go ahead and check that off. And check this out. Right when you check that, it immediately prompts you to what to do next. Like, well, um, I'm going to send invoice. And you can tell I've already used that option before because it's right there. I'm using Google Chrome, by the way, as my browser. Send invoice. And maybe that's not really a call. Maybe that's uh, email right there. Great, I'm gonna schedule that for Monday and I'm gonna schedule it early in the morning. Uh, I don't know, maybe 9 a.m. Not gonna take me long at all. Maybe an hour, maybe hour 15. Actually, it's probably gonna take me less than 15 minutes. Okay, here we go. Uh, send invoice and don't forget additional video work. Um, and you can add notes down here and, and whatever. And, and yeah, you don't care about that. Let's go ahead and save that right there. And as you can see, it immediately puts it right here. So if we were to go back, you will see that now it's green before, or I mean, it's gray, which means that the task is coming up, just like this little gray thing right here. If I were to click this, it says, oh, 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 look what's coming up on January 6th. Reach out to lady who Wendy sent me. Great, all right, I gotta do that. 
and there's all sorts of data over here that you can drill in. You can add the amount right here. Let's say that this deal is worth, I don't know, $4,000 or something ridiculous like that. Great, really cool. Let's go back. Let's say that I am actually working on the project. Check out, well, what, see this little thousand up here? Watch what happens when I drag this over. Bam, it immediately adds these two deals together so you can see how much money you have in progress. Hey, that's really cool. Or let's say I'm done with this and I'm going to put it in the invoice column. Whoa, I have $6,500 worth of invoices that I'm waiting on. Let's say the nice folks over at eSiteWare um, oh, look at, look at, it's red right there. You see the red? That means that there is a task that is overdue. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it says call. Oh, it's a day overdue. I was supposed to do this yesterday. So either I can call right now and check this off or I can click on it. And let's say that yesterday was really, really busy. And so, you know what? I'm going to push this to next week, the 26th. And you can reschedule tasks like that. Isn't that just so powerful? So you can have as many pipelines as you'd like, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, you can get other people on board as well. Uh, it is so incredibly powerful. I'm not going to go into every single little thing here because I don't want to take you down this crazy long rabbit hole. Really, most people, what they're looking for is just how to manage clients and projects. And this, I have tried so many different kinds of, you know, sales pipelines out there and this is by far the simplest most intuitive and they have an iphone app which wor works really really well so that's it very very brief tutorial as to how i use this um, and i hope that this is helpful give pipe drive a try if you don't like it no hard feelings it works awesome for knock studio our nonprofit organization that produces video for other nonprofits. And I hope that this is helpful for you. My name is Bo Shevesu. I look forward to reviewing more awesome things here on Amazon.com and on YouTube and all across the internet.